Hey, welcome back. Joe Gilder here from HomestudioCorner.com. Today, let's talk about the project page. We've covered the start page and the song page. There's one left. It's the project page. So let's give this a little click, boom, and check out the project page. Now, if you don't know much about mastering, that's completely okay. The project page is only available to you if you have Studio One Professional anyway. So if you have artists, this is not as relevant to you. But this could be a reason uh, for you to upgrade. This might be if you want to get into mastering your own tracks or have that feature available to you, you'll need to get the professional version. Okay, so what is the project page? I'll admit it takes a little bit of time to wrap your head around what it is. But essentially, the project page is where you can master your songs. In Pro Tools, software like that, you don't really have a dedicated place to do mastering. You essentially just bring all your stereo uh, master mixes into a session and just put each song on a different track and you just kind of master them that way. Or you get something like Wave Lab. Um, I'm drawing a blank to the other softwares out there, but there's a bunch of them. Uh, Peak Pro, things like that to do your mastering. Well, those are great, but it's nice to have an integrated software that allows you to do your mixing and your mastering in one piece of software. So there's some cool integration things that happen that I'll show you in a future video about how you can take a song and add it to a project and it automatically brings the mix into the project from that song automatically without you having to export and re-import. But that's a little more, it's more than I want to talk about here today in this video. I just wanted to show you that it's here and kind of give you the overview of what it does. Essentially, if you look down here, this is this is the master session or the basically the master all the mixes for my most recent album uh, help of the helpless which was mixed entirely in studio one now i did send this off to be mastered by a mastering engineer however i did still have a project page created so i could bounce out all my mixes together for listening in the car and critiquing and and listening to them before i was finally finished with the album so the way it works is your songs are down here and each wave file down here corresponds to a uh, track if you will up here so as I click on one, you'll see it gets highlighted up in the left-hand side. Now under each song, you can, you can put in all sorts of details, uh, such as IRC, ISRC codes, comments, songwriter, composer, all that fun stuff. You can also give the entire album, all of that information, all the metadata stuff that you would need to be in your MP3s when you, when you send out your album up to Bandcamp or Nimbit or whatever you use to distribute your music. So... That's all included as well. There's also a place here to put plugins both on the individual songs. So you put your EQ, your compressor, your limiter, and you can also put plugins on the master or plugins that will apply to all songs in this section. And these are even given pre and post fader, this little fader right here, which I never touch. Probably should try it sometime. And there's also some really, one of the, my favorite parts of this is the really cool metering that you have. So you can't hear the playback right now. It's okay. But, um, this has pretty cool looking meters. So you can see a big, down here are the low frequencies, here are the high frequencies. We can see what's going on with this mix. We can see how the volume is looking and we can change the view of these quite a bit. Get more detail, get that weird look, left to right, big octaves, third octaves, all that fun stuff. So it's just a, basically a nice, clean place to do your mastering for your songs. And so let's say you're working on an EP and you've got five songs in here and you've got them all dolled up they sound great you're ready to release them well here's where it starts to get pretty cool you can click on these different buttons up here there's different ways to release your song but probably the most popular is digital release you click on that it's got all your songs all their names you just select what format you want to create let's say you want to do a mp3 file so you're going to send this uh, put this for sale somewhere so let's make a 320k mp3 file We'll remove the track numbers and the artist name from the files themselves. We click OK, and it's going to go through and export all of these for us, and it'll only take a few minutes. Super cool, super helpful, and uh, it's just it's another example of how PreSonus does a really good job of trying to think about everything the musician's going to need rather than just coming up with a solution for interfaces or for... Uh, a mixing software. They wanted to include mastering as well, so you can take your project all the way to completion, which is super cool. So I'm going to dive into this project page much more in the future, probably towards the end of this series as we talk about mastering. But I wanted you to see that it's here and I give you a couple of reasons of why it's super cool. And we'll definitely get into it more in the future. Thanks again for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.